I'm gonna just swing. Hey, 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 square. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Kool, I'm at 100X, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another Back for Blood tip trick video to help you guys get better at Back for Blood. But before we jump into the video, make sure you visit my Patreon to get the Holly build. Link will be in the description below and also, also the other thing that you can do on the Patreon as well. Link will be in the description below also. Now guys, we're going to be going over all the new DLC cards and the new cards that's available for the DLC River of Blood. So we're going to be going over the Sonic Despair. Disruptor. Why well, I say despair? I don't know why. <laughs> Implements a pulse that deals heavy stumble damage to nearby enemies and has a chance to knock off armor. Gadget costs, I think that's 75 SMG, and it replaces the offensive slot. Uh, the gadget replaces accessory slot with a actable, I um, think that's what it is, <laughs> ability that causes ammo to use cooldown, cost of effect to stack to every time the gather applies at the same stack. Some of this is a special damage to type of build up all the eruption erupts enemies. Okay, some different when you use it. Uh hazmat specialist. This card applies to you and your teammate sucks. Uh plus 35 acid resistance. We do need another acid card. Your bait uh, your bait jars do direct damage to the target and can hit the weapon spot. Killing immune that are covered with the bell has a 75% chance to create another bait jar. I said bell, bait jar. <laughs> it's a utility card. I recommend it. This card is kind of cool. Um, Wasteland Chef Utility. Gains the ability to melee food item to create a gourmet dinner or a mediocre meal using a combat knife. Increases your odds of gourmet dinner. Okay, different. Um, I don't even know what, what, what that photo Royce or something. I don't know. <laughs> a continuation of gunfire gives a escalated chance to set targets on fire. Hmm, interesting. Another utility card, drone spotter. Begins marking nearby mutants every seven seconds, gains 20% chance of uh, uh, negate damage while active. I think that sniper bullets, I believe, 20. Um, replaces quick slot and fragile. Uh, replacing accessory slot to activate. Yeah, we already know what the card does. That card kind of sucks. Um, it's another offensive. Okay, either bomb. Uh, it may say gas that attracts radiant to you for seven seconds, but also slows your movement speed by 50%. Uh, 50. It's not. That's a dumb card. Why would I want emit gas that attracts radiance to you for seven seconds? Why would I want them to come to me? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know. That that's that's a card I don't see being. I guess mm, once you think about it, I guess if you want to attract everybody, but that's. Mm, but why would you? I don't know. That's that's a weird card. That I got to come back to that and look into it. Uh, empowered assault. Mm, you for the melee boys. Uh, after you kill a mutant, the next time you damage a mutant is guaranteed to cause them to stumble. Hmm, team stumble damage. This is cool for melee, but I don't know why it should be applied to the team. That doesn't make sense. Cleansing fire. Strong black woman. Utility card. Gains a stacking of five damage resistant every second on fire and maximum five stats for lasting for 15 seconds. The fire removes most negative status effect. 40% fire resistance. I don't really see in fire being used that much only by us, but I guess that'd be good for the motherfucking fire zombies that be coming at you. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah. The only card I'm seeing being useful is the Empowered Assault and probably this card and probably this card. I don't really see an either bomb being used at all. Probably Sonic, but I don't know. But overall, new card really ain't about shit, but let's see how the story rocks, I guess. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for coming by. I'm out of here, guys. Deuces.